system that uh, set up here. It's actually a circuit system that we, uh, that we built uh, since two years ago. And the way it's designed it, it's, uh, it's helped just to uh, get rid of the water that we receive because uh, washing uh, approximately uh, 600 bucket per week, so more than that. Mm -hmm. We'll have a lot of water to dump in the beans and uh, one bee cannot uh, absorb all that water. So once uh, this is a well that they built here, people pump out water from the well and fill the tank and like this the compost mat, they use that water to wash the bucket. The first uh, grey water from the bucket dump into the pile. So to uh, manage that water, at the first, on the first time it was not easy for us because uh, we did not find a proper way to uh, reduce the amount of water that we're receiving. So it's uh, by day that we improve our way of uh, cleaning the bucket that we find out that we can use uh, just a little bit of water, we dump uh, that water to the other bucket. Right. So we don't have to like uh, clean one bucket and dump the other water. Right, one exactly. have been used to clean uh, most of the bucket that we call it. Exactly. And after we dump that uh, water to the pile, we rinse uh, the bucket with very clean water that comes from to the uh, well. And that water is dumped to the suck, suck pit that we built here. And that's what this is? Yeah. Like this morning they were dumped right here. I see. And after that, they, all the bucket is uh, stored right okay. here, face up. And, uh, so, there is, uh, so it's the final rinse that gets dumped in here, the, the, yeah. the, the, the dirty water goes into the bins. Yeah, exactly. I and see. after that we use a sprayer machine, we put uh, this kind of enzyme uh, named EM, efficient microorganism that we push out in preference. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just mix that with some water and we asperge the bucket. Like this they uh, kind of uh, look clean, mm -hmm. with, uh, like a natural enzyme. Mm -hmm. And that water we dump it to the to the bin because it's not too much. And after the last thing that we did, we prepare another solution of water with bleach. Mm -hmm. So we spray again the bucket, like, and after that we leave the bucket here. They get dry to the sun, mm, and actually that the last uh, cleaning that we did we did for the bucket. And after that you can smell them; they look clean. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, like these are them here. Aren't yeah, they? Like, like these, these are ones that have been washed out. Yeah, you can smell a little bit of bleach, actually. Chlorine. So they look clean, bucket again. <laughs> these are cleaned out and they're ready to go back to the households. Yeah. Bucket is broken, they can be replaced. Uh, so the household doesn't have problem to still using, keep using the system. And uh, tools, shovel, pitchfork, power, and the sprayer machine. Oh, this is the sprayer you're saying for yeah. cleaning the toilet exactly. containers out. Okay. So this, and this is a pump? Yeah. That's a pump on the power. And then after that, uh, the water comes out. <coughs> and that's how you're cleaning out the toilet containers. Yeah. With that little no, spray. No, no, the toilet, the toilet container being cleaned with a brush. Oh, with a brush. Yeah, that is for the final clean. The final rinse with the. Final uh, rinse. You mean with the chlorine? Yeah, chlorine. Okay, and then special. so he's wearing these rubber gloves and. Yeah. Where is where is the protection? <laughs> right. To collect and to compose, they just put them. In the rubber boots, probably. Yeah, it's very long. Mm-hmm. It's uh, yeah, just a safety here. precaution. And they put that uh, you know, coveralls. coveralls. There's the gloves. There is a right fit until here, so they are fully protected to work in case an accident happens. Yeah, in case you know there's a cholera epidemic or something, they don't have yeah. to feel like they're getting exposed. All right, this is a another like public toilet they can move around. They're using uh, okay. uh, 60 liter receptacle. No yeah. smell at all. There's no turds showing, there's no smell whatsoever. Except for that goat. Um, the cute little 
Okay, this is the second compost site on the compost area on this site in the village. In the village. This is and, where we started. And this is the only, there are only two in the village. Yeah. These are all the compost, yeah. compost bins. We already have all those piles. This is a new pile. Oh, this, these have all been emptied? Yeah. Filled and emptied and filled again. Yeah. So, uh, where are you getting the bagasse? At the same location, two kilometers from uh, from this site. And it's a what? Darbon factory. It's a what factory? Darbon factory. What do they make? They uh, collect uh, sugar cane from uh, the farmers in Leogan. Yeah. To process to make sugar. Oh, to make so they're making then sugar. After they put that in the machine that they left over. This is the leftovers from the and sugar it, production. Yeah. That, that is one of the uh, biggest costs of the project. It, is renting the truck or renting buying the, the buying this? Buying. This is for free. This is free. This is the one they're adding to right now. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So there's still plenty of room in the back, looks like. These are old piles that are <coughs> shrinking down. <coughs> quite a bit of it here so you can see how much they shrink this one here was uh, supposed to be harvest in June uh, June was supposed to be his harvest date so uh, this was started in August of 2013 closed September this took a month to fill a year later nine months later well here it is a year and a half later and it's all finished compost that's being populated by local grasses. So this grass, when you get it off, you can put it in the next compost. Wow. There it is. Beautiful. What kind of odors you have here? Odor problems. <laughs> The work is performed properly, perfectly, so there is no other problem at all. There's no other problem, and I have to, I had to ask that because I can't smell anything walking through around here. This morning they dumped that fresh pile in Oh, that's right, that's right. Freshly dumped and you couldn't smell anything. So, great. We're going to go look at a, His house. At a house, okay. okay. We're going to go into this house. These guys are guarding the house here. But I'm going to try to get past them real quick. See if I can get past these guys without, without losing my, my life. Alright, I made it. Okay, Rico is the compost manager. Apparently this is the disco area of the community. A little store here. This is Rico's wife. Bonjour. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> He's got a, a total garden here. Oh, and here's the, here's the loo. This morning they empty everything. Nothing in it. Yeah, this is the bucket clean. So these are the uh, the empties. Yeah. Got some bagasse in it. Rico here is in charge of the compost. <laughs> At the beginning, it was a little bit shy uh, to uh, do this kind of job. But bit by bit, he's uh, improving his way, and he will uh, now he like uh, the job that he's doing because he understands. And he learned a lot about composting now. It's a, it's a good experience for him. Because he didn't know that he could uh, do a job like this. At the beginning, uh, they had they had problem with chicken. Mm. Like jump over the fence and come to dig, and there was a rat, rat problem as well mm. on the site. So that was. Uh, <laughs> how did they? How did they deal with that? Come out, uh, best way you was use, you were using cat. Cats. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <Catch a rat. laughs> so like this. Uh, they put cats. Uh, they put cats to work. Yeah. <laughs> and as far as the chickens. So he talked to the owner. You can be you. So they, Hold them and put rope on them. Yeah, okay. So they, they, can get them put them in the cage. they pen them up. Yeah. So this it's the same structure. Okay, another toilet. They just modify the building and put the compost pad at this. Another toilet. There it is back in the corner. Is there anything in it? Do you want can you 
Okay, there's a little bit in there. And uh, this is what she uses all the time? Yeah. Before these humanoid compost toilets were put in, they had a different system that they bought and paid for for every one of these houses. And this is the kind of a concrete toilet seat that yes. went with the original system. And this vault here in the back is what... Uh, That's where the storage... Where the uh, excrement went. Were, oh, uh, I see. It's, a, it's like a pit latrine. So then what happened was uh, the vent, uh, it just smelled bad and got full of uh, maggots and stuff and and they didn't like it, but they did end up, they did have a little building here in the end, which they were able to use to put the human or compost toilets in. So in that sense, it was an advantage because they had a building to put these other toilets in. Um, I bet these the original systems cost a lot of money. They were exceptionally expensive. Exceptionally expensive, and then they they failed. They failed miserably. Oh, the neighborhood was smelling too. Yeah, you could smell it in the air. Yeah. Oh. It to be like this. <laughs> so they're complaining. Were they complaining? We yeah. There were mm, Because of the smells, right? And now the smells are gone. Now uh, there's no smell. There's no smell at all. Now we can walk properly in the village, there's no, yeah. no bad odor. No, it's beautiful.